Good morning. It's time for yoga. And it's time for us to let go of everything that's going on out there in the world. Be right here present, wherever you are, in your own living room, your own ashram, your own den, your own bedroom. Wherever it is you're going to practice your yoga today, take a moment to bring your brain in. Be aware of the temperature of your body. Oh, is it stiff or tight? Is it ready to release? Are you tense in the shoulders? Your back been hurting? An ache or pain? And be mindful of that as we practice. And we'll help open it up and release all the tension that's causing some of that discomfort, especially in our hearts and our minds. Here we go. Let's get to our mats. And let's be seated. Let's cross our legs or extend them. Remember to adapt to whatever suits your body because nobody knows your body better than you. So learn to be kind. Learn. Let's be accepting of wherever we're at today. And there's been a lot of fear, anxiety, loss, grief for what is the life that we have come to know is normal. <laughs> Not normal anymore, but what is solid and always there is your yoga practice. So let's start. Quiet your mind, perhaps even close your, your eyes for a moment. And let's focus our attention on the slow, even inhale as we lift our sternum and our chest up to the sunshine. And as you exhale, just notice gravity as it draws on your knees. Inhale up the spine, lift the sternum, relax your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. Exhale, relax the traps, the shoulders, knees are drawn to the floor. Inhale and lift all the way up into the face and now into the forebrain, the center brain, the old brain. And as you exhale, let all the neurons and neural pathways release whatever they've been holding on to. Inhale, lift, fill, embrace the day. Exhale, release. And now let's inhale the arms up. Feel the fingertips and the palms touch at the top. Exhale, separate your shoulder blades. Reach out to the side walls. Inhale up. Feel the touch. And then let's exhale to the side. And inhale, separate your shoulder blades apart. And exhale, over. Inhale, engage your abdominals to lift you. And let's exhale over the beach ball, across the front. Inhale, engage those abdominals to lift and open. Exhale, over the beach ball, rounding across the front. Inhale, engage the abs. And exhale the forehead forward towards the mat. And inhale, breathing into your hips and your low back. Expand them with the breath. And on the exhale, float towards the floor. Take one more nice, deep inhale into the mid-back, upper back, between the shoulder blades, the neck and exhale towards the floor. Let's inhale, gently lifting your body. If your legs are crossed, switch your feet. Always working both sides. Inhale, engage your abs, relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift, touch the ceiling. And exhale to the side. 
good inhale and focus your attention into the sensation of the stretch down your left side. Inhale, feel your back lifting. Exhale over the beach ball across the front. Inhale, open. Inhale, exhale again over the beach ball. Inhale, open. And exhale the forehead again towards the floor. Inhale into your hips. Expand your low back. In mid back, upper back between the shoulder blades, the traps and neck. And exhale towards the floor. Inhale. And exhale, release. And let's inhale our bodies up. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Hands on the shins or laced under the calves. And exhale forward. Inhale into the low back, mid back, upper back, shoulders. And as you exhale, just allow gravity to draw your chest, your head, a little closer. One more nice deep inhale. Nice slow exhale. And now let's inhale and bring the palms to the tops of the shins. Relax those traps. Engage your abs. Feel them pulling and lifting you. Lift your chest and your chin. Arch back. Exhale. Push that belly button to the back wall and exhale forward. And inhale. Start with the tailbone. Mid back. Relax the traps. Lift the chin. Arch back. Exhale. Round or contract and flow forward. Inhale, rise, a soft wave on the ocean, gently arching back. No need to rush or hurry, round and flow forward. Feel the rhythm of your rising with the breath, the abs. Relax those traps. Lift the chest and arch back. And exhale, contract round and let the soup flow into the shore. Good. Let's inhale up and bring the heels to the edges of the mat. Get on our sits bones, flex the feet, press the knee, the backs of the knees towards the floor, and now pull in the tummy and just lift. Relax the traps. That's all we need. To stay seated tall and inhale up and touch the ceiling. And let's exhale to the side. Inhale, separate the shoulder blades. Exhale over. Inhale, open. Exhale over a big beach ball across the front. Inhale, open. Ask your brain to notice how it feels as you exhale and round forward. Does your back get a little stretch, your hamstrings, your shoulders. Inhale, feel that wonderful lift. Let's inhale up and reach. Exhale, now inhale and lengthen down your legs, the flat of your feet, reaching out. Inhale, up. As we reach up, the legs extend. Inhale, up. Good. Inhale. Let's take the hands behind, fingers forward, relax those toes, inhale, arch up, exhale down, inhale up, squeeze a little, exhale down, good, inhale up slowly, not too harsh. Exhale down. We're just warming up. One more. Inhale up and arch back. Exhale down. Good. Get right back up on those sits bones. Flex the feet. Bring them out. And inhale up. Face that right leg. Hinge forward. 
And feel free to myofascial release, ma massage. And feel the massage. Put your focus into the leg, the thigh, the hamstring, the calf. Be in your body. Be present. Feel those sensations. Good. Let's inhale. Left hand up. And exhale. Thread it under the right. Inhale up. And exhale. Thread. Pull your stomach in and up so that you touch the ceiling. And exhale over the left leg. And again, feel free to massage. Remember how this feels. Does that feel good? It's okay to do. In the evening when you're relaxing, or whenever you just feel tense, get the tension out of the muscles. Strengthen your body, strengthen your immune system. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it under the left. Inhale up. Exhale, thread. Good. Inhale. And let's circle the hands and go engage your abdominals. Sit tall on those sit bones. Inhale, wiping the inside of the ball. Let's inhale up and exhale, gently rotate to the left. Engage those abdominals. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen out the bottoms of your feet as you reach up and rotate. Inhale, up and rotate. Inhale, up. And now let's exhale and roll off the hip and touch the ground. Inhale, rock over. Touch the ground. Inhale, rock. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale. Good. Let's bring those feet together. Inhale. Just come forward, round forward, and gently flex and point each opposite foot, alternating. Breathe. Go ahead and let it move your hips if you wish. All the way into the low back. Let's flex the feet, bend the knees, engage the abs. Inhale up. And exhale, point the toes and straighten the legs. Inhale up. Now think of shooting an arrow up your spine and out the top of your head. Oh, yeah, good. Let's go ahead and bend the knees and round forward. Let's inhale up and take the feet a little wider. Whatever works for your body. If Make sure you don't try to open them too far. Just be on the sits bones. We're not going to go for much stretch. We're just going to face that left leg and hinge. Now you're going to feel your back, your hip, your hamstring. So don't push. Don't force. Back off. Inhale. Up the spine. And exhale. Round down. Use that inhale to back off and fill with air. And then on the exhale, relax. Allow the muscles to let go. Stay and take one nice deep inhale. Keep your right hip on the ground. And let's gently walk through the middle. Inhale up. Hinge over the right leg. Again, don't push. Back off. Inhale, expand the muscles with air, especially your back, because that's what gets tight, keeps us back and hips. Good. Let's inhale all the way up into your traps and scaps, and exhale, release. Good. Let's walk to the center. Walk in. Bring your heels in and bend your knees. Point. Flex. Point. Bend. Alternate. Engage your abs. Support yourself from the side. Inhale. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. Bend them both. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Point the legs. Good. Inhale.
touch the ceiling, engage your abs, shoot an arrow up your spine, out the top of your head, and toes touch the walls. One more. Exhale. Nice. Good. Relax. Bring them in. Give them a little shake. Let's bend now and roll down. Arms go out. Knees are in, and we roll around that low back. One direction. Give your back a nice massage. If you're on your feet or sitting a lot, take a moment. Keep a mat on the floor, perhaps. Inhale up. And just do these simple moves. Rotate. Tighten the abs to inhale the knees up. And exhale over. Inhale up. Tighten. Press your low back against the floor. And exhale over. Inhale up and exhale over. Let's come center and bicycle. Good. One o'clock and ten and eleven. Two and ten. Three and nine. Two and ten. One and eleven. Straight up. Good. Let's bend our feet, turn the knees out, stretch one leg out. Exhale. Inhale out, all the way out the bottom of the leg, out the heel. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Always take an opportunity to spread your fingers and push your palms. Good. Let's bend our knees. The lower leg is parallel to the floor. Feet are flexed. We're pressing the low back into the floor, belly button into the floor, arms up, inhale, and exhale, press, tighten those low abs, tighten, tighten, tight. <sighs> Put your hands on your knees, press your knees into your hands, tighten those abdominals, push that whole low back against the floor, work, feel it, appreciate it, good strong abs. Let's cross the one forearm on top of the other, opposite hand on each knee, and press into your hands. Press low back into the floor, tighten the abs. Keep breathing. Good. Uncross the other forearm on top, hands on your knees, press into your hands. Tighten those abs. Ooh, work it. Push. Exhale, big, strong, long exhale. Good. Hands under the knees. Press the belly button into the floor. Then press your knees down into your hands. Your biceps and triceps and delts will get involved. Breathe. Even your thighs and glutes. Abs. Notice how they all work together. Hands on top of the knees. Press your knees into your hands. One more time. Tighten those abs. Big, long exhale. Inhale. Big, long exhale. Push. Good. Let's put the feet down. Let's relax the stomach. And we're going to bridge. Inhale. Press up. Tighten. Squeeze the glutes. Push them up. Stay on your exhale. Inhale. And exhale, roll down. One vertebra at a time. Pick up the toes, spread them apart, put them on the mat. Really feel your feet grounded. That means attached to the floor like hands. Inhale, push up. Let's stay on our exhale. Inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale down. Now let's just inhale up with one inhale. Exhale down. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Inhale up. Squeeze the glutes right away. Push your hips up. Exhale down. Good. Let's take the right foot, flex it up to the ceiling. Inhale. Push up and squeeze your left glute. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Notice your thigh and your hamstring working as well on that left leg. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Switch feet. Flex the foot. Get a nice firm grip on the floor with your right foot. Inhale up. Exhale down. Reach up your left leg like you're putting the stamp of your left foot on the ceiling. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And down. Good. Now let's rock. Three or four times. Up and down the mat. And now, face me with your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. We're going to do dog over a fire hydrant. Let's flex that right foot, open it out, and lift it over the fire hydrant. Now, go ahead and look down at the mat when you don't need to look anymore. We're going to work that right glute. Inhale, carry the leg in. Inhale and carry it up. Control it in. Exhale, inhale up, exhale in, inhale up, exhale in, inhale up, exhale in, inhale up, exhale in, inhale up, exhale in. Flex that right foot and in. Good. Relax for a moment. Flex your left foot. Open the knee out. Inhale up. Exhale in. Use your abs, your glutes, your shoulders and thighs. Inhale up. Squeeze that left glute and thigh. Exhale in. Inhale up. Exhale in. Do as many as your body allows and go into child's pose if you ever need to rest. Inhale up. You're welcome to do so. And in. Inhale up. Exhale in. Inhale up. And in. Good. Let's sit back in child's pose. Relax those hips. Armpits towards the floor and forehead on the mat. Big exhale. Make room for that nice big inhale. Good. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn sideways. Tuck your toes. We come up. Let's go right into down dog. Press those heels. And gently bicycle one heel and then the other into the mat. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Start lifting your tailbone up. Keep pushing your shoulders back away from your hands. Good. Let's inhale the heels up. Press the shoulders and hips back. Drop the sternum. Exhale the heels towards the floor. Breathe. Feel your body supported by your bones. Big exhale. And let's inhale the right foot forward, ankle under the knee, not behind. If you can, sink your hips towards the floor. It might be just a thought. It might be a sixteenth of an inch. It might be multiple inches. Just feel your body for a moment. Feel the strength. Feel legs work. And let's inhale the right hand up to the ceiling. And look past the hand. And let's wrap the hand around the back and open the right shoulder. Breathe. Let's bring the hand back. Let's Step back into down dog. Press back. Exhale. Bicycle some more. Press those heels. Stretch the calves. 
Good. Let's inhale the heels up. Press the hips back. Drop the sternum. Drop the heels towards the floor. Breathe. Big exhale. Feel your body supported by your bones. And let's inhale the left foot forward, ankle under the knee. Bring the hands inside. Let your pelvis drop towards the floor. Again, maybe it's just a thought. Maybe it's a little. Maybe it's a lot. It's all okay. But feel the stretch. Enjoy it. Let's take that left hand and lift it up to the ceiling. Wrap the hand around your back. Breathe. Good. Bring the hand back. Let's step back to down dog. Press. And now let's bring the knees to the floor and let's inhale and round into cat. Start with your tailbone and exhale into cow. Push the top of your head up. Inhale, round, tighten your abs, push your shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Exhale, arch and a cat. Inhale, round, look between your legs. Exhale, arch. One more, inhale, round, keeping a supple spine. Is so important for the communication in our body. Good. Let's tuck our toes, rock back. Hands on the floor, a block, shins. Let's forward fold. And exhale, squat down. Bring your hands closer to your feet if you can. It's okay to keep the knees bent. Forward fold. It's okay to have soft knees. Exhale down. Let's inhale. Take the forearms to the backs of the legs, to the calves. And then if you can gently lift your tailbone up, straightening the knees a little, keep weight in the balls and the heels of your feet equally. Breathe. Soften your knees and let's inhale and round all the way up. Arms come up. Lift the chin and arch back. Tighten your abs and glutes and ex and thighs to exhale up. Wow. Ask your brain to notice. Ask your brain to notice how your body feels. A little warmer. Roll the shoulders. Ah, a little looser. Is your outlook a little brighter? Inhale, reach out to me, reach up to the ceiling, touch the back wall, tighten those abs. Keep zipping it from here to here. We in tighten it just like we did when we were inhale on the floor doing our abs. Touch the back wall, tighten your glutes, thighs, hold everything in place and down. Good. Take the arms out. Inhale. Reach. Exhale to the center. We're working this rib cage. It's moving. Exhale. Good. Place your palms towards me. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then drop your shoulders and separate. Now in order to really move those shoulders, we need to hold the body still using the abdominals, a little glute, a little thigh. Squeeze, exhale, separate. Good. Squeeze and separate. And I'll show you from the back. Squeeze, separate. Squeeze, separate. And down. Good. Wiggle the shoulders. Round. Put your hands on your thighs. Arch and round. Arch. Now this we can do almost anywhere. Nobody cares. When your back gets tired, arch it. And then exhale, round it and round up. Good. Let's inhale. 
Bring the feet right under your hips. Remember to always, if necessary, rock to bring your toes right in front of your heels. So we're in parallel. And then we tighten. Inhale up. Let's take it to the side. Now, of course, if that upper arm comes forward, your shoulders are, st are tight, separate the hands. But plant that right foot firmly on the floor. Don't come off of it. Inhale, tighten your abs. Reach all the way up. Exhale to the other side. Again, feel free to open your hands. Breathe. Feel that left foot firmly planted. Push against the floor. Good. Exhale, hold that big beach ball in front of you. Inhale, up. Take the hands behind. Interlace them. In, down, arch back. Exhale. Hinge forward. If you can lift the fingers up, good. Watch if you're gripping with your toes. Put more weight into the heel of your feet and release. And exhale, squat all the way down, tiny as a pill bug. Inhale, forward, lift the tailbone up. Soften knees, inhale all the way up and down. Lovely. We have to open those hips a little bit. So let's take the feet to the edges of the mat. Now remember, we're not going to lean forward. We're not going to let the hips go forward. We're going to go straight down. Check yourself right now. Oops, I started to lean forward. Push the hips forward. That's as far as my hips allow. That's okay. Take it down. Inhale up. Tighten your glutes, your thighs. Exhale up. Good. Inhale. Strength. Exhale. As we build strength in our abs, our thighs, and our glutes, exhale. We can stand more confidently in our body. And that helps us when we are dealing with life that's changing. The constant is inhale up, exhale wrap. That we can count on our bodies to keep us strong. Exhale wrap. Inhale up. I had a ruptured appendix 10 years ago. Exhale. And in the hospital I knew, inhale up. I had to move if I wanted to come back to life. My thighs and legs and glutes were strong and they walked me through the hallways even when I was attached, inhale up, to equipment and felt like the rest of me was hardly alive. But that strength, inhale up and down in my thighs, abs and glutes gave me the fortitude to do what was necessary to heal. Your body and your mind work together. Let's do some more. Inhale up. Feet together into chair. Tighten those abs. Inhale up. Long, slow exhale down. Inhale up. Good. Exhale. Tighten the abs, arms. Let's inhale up and rise onto our toes all the way up. And exhale down. Good. Let's inhale up, arch down, get onto our knees, engage the abs and up. Let's take that right foot out, toes are parallel, pointing to me, and let's exhale over. And inhale, windmill over, left hand under your shoulder, right hand reaching up. If you can pick up the foot and flex it, stretch it from the hip all the way out. Good. If you wish, you can go to a side plank. Now you're going to feel your side work, your abs work, your glute work, your arm. You can lift a foot a little not at all, a little more, maybe a little more, down, 
Good. Bring that left knee in, right arm by your ear. <laughs> ah. Just for a moment, feel the strength of your left arm against the floor, the length of your right leg. Breathe. And inhale, elbow to knee. And exhale, extend. Now notice I'm not folding. I'm extending because I want to get my back strong too. Let it hold me in place. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time. Inhale. Exhale. You're always welcome to just do the leg. Inhale. Exhale. In. We'll go to eight. Exhale. In. Exhale. Good. In. Stretch open. One more. In. Exhale. Good. Let's come in. Round down. Nice big exhale. Breathe. Always take several even inhales and exhales. Let's come up on our knees. Inhale up. And let's take the left foot out. Toes facing me. Let's inhale and rotate over. Right hand right under your shoulder. Left hand reaches. Flex that left foot. That means tighten that right glute. Take the right arm out. We can go to a side plank. Possibly bring the left foot off the right. Tighten that right glute. Work it a little, maybe a lot. Every day is a different practice, and that's the beauty of your yoga. Just respect your body. One day it can do something. Maybe the next is not its day. Inhale in. Exhale, extend. I think yoga teaches acceptance. Inhale in. Accepting what is for today and working with those things that do work. Appreciating what is right in your body and in your life. Inhale in. Exhale, extend. And getting stronger every time. Exhale, extend. Inhale in. Exhale, extend. Inhale in. Exhale, extend. Inhale in. Exhale, one more. Inhale in. Extend. Good. Come in. Let's sit back into a child's pose, forehead on the mat. Exhale. Let your shoulders relax. And breathe. Good. Now let's tuck our toes. Let's rock back. Stretch those Achilles. Support from the front or the back. Put a towel under your heels if you wish. Get ready for sandals time. Flat sandals. Stretch those Achilles. I doubt very many of us are wearing heels in our houses. <laughs> Forward fold. And let's bring those feet to the edges of the mat. One more time, we open the hips. Inhale, up your spine. Relax the traps. Put the top of your head on the ceiling. Just for the moment. Feel planted where you are. Breathe, inhale deep. Exhale. Now, if you wish, you can take the right hand, wrap the left hand around your back, look over your left shoulder, release, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take the left hand, wrap around, look over your right shoulder, release, Any pose in yoga can be a moment 
of repose, of stillness. Good. Let's put our hands on the mat, turn the feet parallel, lift the hips up, rock them side to side. Soften your knees, inhale, round up. Good. Let's take that left foot out, turn the right foot on the diagonal. Inhale up, exhale out. Now remember we want to keep the left knee straight. So if I want to bend, let's use a block. So that you can get that opportunity to stretch the hamstring and the back. And then we stretch the back by tilting the pelvis up. You will feel it in your mid-back, your hamstring. Breathe. Nice deep inhale. If you wish, you can push that exhale out against the back of the throat. <sighs> inhale. Push that air against the back of the throat. <sighs> Let's take the right hand on the shin, foot block, or floor, and inhale up into triangle. And this is also for lengthening and strengthening the mid-back. So I take my hips, I tilt them. I may need to come up higher because I want to work that back and rotate. Wherever your back allows, that's where you work. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's how it feels. Exhale, right hand down onto the block or the shin or the floor. Let's wrap that hand. Woo! Bring the hand down. Let's walk your feet parallel facing me. Rock your hips side to side. Keep the weight equally distributed in the balls and the heels of your feet. And then find your sweet spot and hang. Now your knees may be bent and you may be here. But tilt your tailbone pelvis. Tilt that pelvis up a little wherever you are. And breathe. Good. Let's walk our hands over to the right leg. Keep weight equally distributed. If your flexibility allows, you can begin to drop your forearm towards the floor or not. Walk through the center over to your left leg. Body, right hip stays back. Let's walk back, put hands under your face, bend your knees, round into cat. Put your left hand under your face, reach up, arch into cow. And then if you wish, straighten your knees. Wrap the arm around your back, look over your right shoulder. Breathe. Bring the hand back. Right hand under your face. Bend your knees. Round into cat. Left arm up. Arch into cow and straighten your knees if you wish. Nice long flat backs. Wrap that left hand around your back if you wish. You can have the knees stay bent. Bring the hand down. Relax into your sweet spot. Let's inhale the arms to a T. Come all the way up. Let's turn left foot. Right foot lunge. Step back into down dog. Push the tilt the hills, hips up. Walk your feet. Or hop. Inhale up, inhale, big arms up. Lift your chin and arch back. Hold your breath. Exhale down. 
Interlace the fingers. Arch down. Release. Soften knees. Round up. Chin comes up last. Take a moment. Tighten your abs a little, little glute, little thigh. Be powerful on your feet. Open your chest. Lift your sternum. Mountain pose. Power pose. Stability. Remember the feeling. That's you. Left foot on the diagonal. Right foot out. Turn those hips. Remember, if this knee wants to bend, use a block. Straighten. All right, so let's inhale up. Exhale out and down. Take that hip, tilt it up. If you want to go here, flat back. Exhale. Breathe. You want to lengthen. Feel the feeling of lengthening the spine. Straight neck from the tailbone all the way out the top of your head. With the right hand on your shin, your block, the floor. Inhale into triangle. And as you do, think of your belly button. It rotates first, then your sternum, shoulders, and arm. Good. It's a whole unit that works together. And exhale down. Left hand to the shin or the block or the floor. Inhale. Right hand up. Wrap it around if you like. Good. Let's come down. Let's rotate both feet to me. And let's rock our hips side to side again. Knees can be bent as needed. Good. And let's rotate both feet to one side. Take a little lunge. Put the knee back. Rock back. Flex. Inhale forward. Lift the knee up. Walk through the middle. Turn both feet. Lunge. Knee down, gently rock back, flex the left, right foot. Inhale forward, come up, walk to the middle. Let's do that again. Rotate both feet, little lunge. Knee down, rock back, flex. Exhale. Forward, knee up, walk through the middle. Bend both knees, gentle lunge, knee down, gentle rock back. Come forward, tuck the toe, turn the feet, face me, down into your safe, gentle stretch. Good, let's inhale the arms to a T, come all the way up. <sighs> Let's turn the other foot. Bend down. Lunge. Press back. Into downward dog. Then walk your feet. Or hop them. Round up. Keep the chin down until the very end. Engage your abs right now. All the way up. Open your shoulders. And chin is up. Good. Take a moment. Feel yourself rock back and forth. Feet, weight equally distributed in your feet. Push the pelvis forward and engage your abs. All of this solidly held together. Inhale up. <sighs> Let's take that right foot forward, slide it back. Hips push forward, knees push together. Now we're going to stretch that right thigh. Reach up your left side. Get taller. That means engage your right, your left thigh. Good. Reach back. Stare at a spot. Stare. 
Feel free to use something to balance against. Always. Tighten that left glute. Tighten your abs. Lift your sternum. And down. Inhale up through peanut butter or jello flow. Wiggle your toes so you know you're keeping your weight equally distributed in your feet. One more time. Exhale. Tighten your glutes a little. Tighten your thighs. Tighten your abs. Good. We're getting that sense of stability. Where's our power? Good. Wipe that knee, foot back. Push the pelvis forward, knees towards each other. Reach up the right side. Tighten your right glute and thigh. Stare. Add a hand if you wish. Stare. B. And release. Good. Inhale up. <sighs> Let's take a foot forward. Bend it. Bend both knees. Straighten to whatever extent your leg will straighten and rise. If your body allows, lean over the leg. And down. Inhale up. Some poses are going to be more challenging than others. Enjoy the challenge. It's okay to fall out. It's okay to find a weak area. Ooh, that means a place to play. If you can straighten this knee, do so. If you can lean out over the leg a little, do so. If you fall out, start again. Bend, rise, straighten. And down. Good. Inhale up. Let's rock our hips forward and back so they can relax. Breathe. Separate your feet. Rock them. And circle. Other way. Good. Let's bring our feet in. Ah, let's cross right over left, left over right. Exhale down. And again, feel free to stabilize. Whatever way is being genuine and honest and kind to your body. And breathe. With each exhale, Allow the top of your head to just gently drop towards the floor. Allow your belly button to drop towards your thighs. And on the next inhale, let's round up one vertebra at a time. Inhale the arms up. Engage your abs and sit into that chair. Lift those left toes or cross and sit. Really working the right thigh and the right glute. Deepen your sit if you wish. Let's inhale slowly. Rise, straightening that right leg. Exhale, extend. Relax the traps. Engage the abs. Down. Beautiful. Inhale up. And exhale, release. Inhale up, cross right over left. Exhale, forward, tilt that tailbone. Rather than this, this. Good. If you need to, by all means, use a block. Or your shins, or your thigh. Warrior floor. As you exhale, tilt that tailbone up. Let your sternum drop. Breathe. Nice big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. And on the next inhale, keep the chin down and round up one vertebra at a time. Arms come up.
tighten your abs right away. Bend your knees, sit into a chair. If you wish, you can cross and deepen your sit. Stare at a spot. Then slowly inhale, rise. Extend, tighten those abdominals, relax the traps, separate the shoulder blades, and down. Good, let's inhale up into the peanut butter or jello, and exhale down. Use your abs, let those arms flow. Lovely, inhale up. Let's arch down. Good. Let's extend the right leg forwards. Sit on the sits bones. Press the back of the knee towards the floor. Let's lift up that left leg. Now flex your left foot perpendicular, not cranked or turned. Really make a nice right angle with your left foot and your left shin and rock your baby. Oh, I like rocking the baby. <laughs> now you can hold with your hand or your wrist. Some people are flexible more and can put their elbow. <laughs> Regardless, it feels good. That's what counts. Grab the calf outside of the foot or the big toe. Sit on those sit bones. Engage the abs all the way up. Relax the shoulders. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale to the side. Sit tall. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. In. Let's take the right hand over the foot or to the calf. Rotate. Now, if you want, you can come up higher. The goal is to gently extend the leg. Exhale. Let's bring that left foot onto the top of the right thigh. Get on the sits bones. If that is uncomfortable, bring it to the inside. Ah, let's interlace the fingers. Inhale out and up. Take your belly button forward and reach out. Drop your chin. Exhale. And breathe. Certainly you can breathe into that left hip. Fill it with air like a balloon. Also your lower back. And exhale. Release the air. All the air out of the balloon. How about we inhale between the shoulder blades up into the shoulders and neck. And on the exhale, let all the air out of the balloon. One more nice, deep inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Interlace with your fingers. Inhale out and up. Let's take the left hand up the right calf, wedge it in, right arm in behind. Now, behind. Press the palm towards the floor if you can. Inhale up the spine. Relax this left trap. And exhale, rotate low back, mid back, and look over your right shoulder. And breathe. And let your brain scan your back. Where is it tight? Inhale and expand those muscles. And on the exhale, relax and rotate. Inhale. Notice what feels tight. Breathe into it. Give it the focus it requires and rotate. Let's lift the elbows. Come back. Take the right hand across. Float the left hand back. Push the palm towards the floor. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate. Look over your left shoulder. You can use this arm right arm to gently rotate you, but not into pain. First relax and inhale and fill the muscles, then as you exhale, give it a little extra. Breathe. Lift the elbows, fingertip to fingertip, interlace, inhale out and up, release. Let's grab this foot around the toe, inhale out, and exhale the big toe towards the chin. Inhale out, 
Exhale the heel towards the forehead. Lean, reach under and down. Good. Shake the legs out. Big inhale up your spine. Exhale, stay lifted. Let's flex the right knee. Bend the knee. Bend the foot perpendicular to the shin and rock your right baby. And ask your brain to just allow the quiet and stillness, softness, the feel good. You deserve that calm, peaceful, mindful state. Good. Grab the calf outside of the foot or around the big toe. Sit on those sits bones. It's inhale and lift. Exhale in. And inhale out. And exhale in. Take the right hand across the foot or the calf, ankle. Open. If you can extend or grab higher. And exhale and flex that foot. Bring that right foot onto the left thigh or inside. Get on the sits bones. Interlace the fingers. Inhale out and up. Bring your belly button forward and then reach out and down. And first thing, inhale and fill your right hip with air like a balloon. On the exhale, let the air out. Let that hip begin to release. Inhale into that right hip again, right into that tightness, or your low back, or your mid back. Exhale, release. One more nice deep inhale. Nice slow exhale. Let's take the right hand, slide it up the outside of the left calf. Float the left arm over. Push the palm in towards the floor. Bring it as close to your spine as is comfortable. Inhale up the spine. Relax the traps. Exhale, rotate low back, mid back, and look over your left shoulder. Nice deep exhale. Without collapsing your back, inhale up. Engage the low mid back muscles. Exhale, rotate. Pick up the elbows, rotate fingertip to fingertip. Left arm across, float the right arm back. Press the palm into the floor as close to your spine as is comfortable. Inhale, rise using that right arm to lift you. Exhale, rotate and look over your right shoulder. You can use the left arm to gently rotate you. Breathe between your, in your mid back, between your upper back and mid back. And exhale, rotate. Breathe. Good. Fingertip to fingertip. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, out and up. Let's release. Gently exhale, out. Inhale, out. And exhale the big toe towards the chin. Inhale, out. Exhale the heel towards the forehead. You can reach under if you wish. Breathe. Down, release the leg and shake them out. Good. Let's bring in the left foot and then the right. If you wish, you can go to a half lotus, whatever your body is comfortable doing. Sit on those sits bones. And let's Take the left arm up and bring it back. Breathe. Unfold. Right arm bends. Inhale up the spine. Feel that nice tall spine. Your mid-back works. Low back, upper back muscles. Unfold. Let's wrap the right hand around. Bring the palms together. Press the elbows towards each other. 
exhale, release. If they don't reach, that's all right. Still just press the elbows, open the chest, lift the sternum, and release. Unwrap. Take the left arm around, palm to palm, or near each other, whatever works. Press the elbows towards each other and lift the sternum. Imagine the sunshine flowing, shining on your chest. Exhale. Inhale, feel the sunlight shining on your face and your chest. Exhale. Let's take your thumb and your index finger. Put your thumb on your right nostril and inhale up your left. Close off the left nostril, exhale out the right. Inhale up the right nostril. Close it off, exhale out the left. Once more, inhale up the right, the left. Close it off, exhale out the right. Feel free to close your eyes, inhale up the right. Close it off, exhale out the left. And release. Good. Let's unfold, refold. Left foot in front. You can go to half lotus if that works for your body. Mm, good. Let's inhale up and down. Drop the chin. Gently rotate to a quarter circle. Inhale into the left side of your neck, any place that's tight. Release. Relax. Inhale over the top to the other side, gently, quarter. Inhale into the side of your neck. Exhale, release, and down. Come the other way. Inhale into tightness anywhere in the neck or the shoulder. Inhale, expand it with air. Exhale, release. Inhale, gently lift over the top to the other side. Inhale into any tightness in the neck, here or here. Expand it. And exhale, release. Come back. And now gently circle your head ever so gently two times. Breathing. And the other way. Good. Good. Let's gently unfold. Take the legs. You can extend them to the side or towards me. Let's inhale up. Roll all the way down. Draw the left knee in, flexed foot, both feet flexed, exhale it to the side. On the next inhale, roll onto your right side, take the left knee across, unfold the left arm, turn your head towards the left, breathe. Breathe into whatever is tight. You can straighten that top leg if you wish or not. Let's inhale and roll onto the back. Extend the leg up to the ceiling. Exhale it out and in. Inhale. Your other knee in, right knee most. Flex both feet, draw it in. Exhale it open, left arm out, palm up. 
breathe. Okay, a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, gently roll onto your left side. Extend that right arm out. Rotate your head gently to the right. Allow the rotation in your spine. Breathe. Try to keep that opposite, that right shoulder on or near the floor. You can extend the top leg if that serves your body, if that feels good or not. Feel free to soften your gaze, close your eyes, breathe. And on the next inhale, let's roll onto our backs. Extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale it out and in. Let's bend both knees, extend the feet straight up and, and invert. Along the bowels, in your arteries and veins, relax. If you wish, you can begin to roll up, bring your hands to your low back, then to your waist, and then draw your feet straight up towards the ceiling. Keep looking straight up. Don't turn your head. Breathe. If you wish, you can take one foot towards the floor. And up. Or the other foot. And up. Bend your knees. Roll back down to your back. Feet straight up. Wiggle your shoulder blades down and away from your ears. Now let's bend the knees, take the arms on the center of the body, grab the ankles, or the feet, drop the tailbone towards the floor. And let's walk side to side. In a happy baby pose. And ask your forebrain, your cortex, all the neurons and neural pathways. Let them absorb the soothing sensation of the rocking. And like a baby, know that you are in a safe, quiet space that you have given to yourself. Good. And allow the center of your brain to absorb the soothing sensation of the rocking. If you feel emotion at any time in your practice, like sadness or overwhelm or tears. That's just letting out all the anxiety that needs out. Let it happen. Let it be. Inhale into the old brain. Let the rocking soothe that part of us, that brain that wants to protect and control and make everything okay. And for this moment, let it rest and be in the same quiet space. Let's stop our rocking. Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together, the palms up. Let everything float down to the mat. Breathe into your heart and just notice how it feels with love and compassion for yourself. And exhale out whatever pain, fear, loss, worry, anxiety, let it out. Once more, let's breathe into our hearts. You can even bring your hands to your chest. And as you exhale, open your arms and release out what is you're ready to let go and absorb the hope and the sunshine and the pleasant rain. And then if you'd like, feel free to extend one leg and then the other in a corpse pose at any time. Wiggle the shoulder blades apart, palms up on the floor. 
and close your eyes. Let your eyes fall back into your eye sockets. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth and be like a pat of butter on warm hot cakes, melting into the floor. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your focus back into the room. Feel free to move your body any way it so desires. And then, if you'd like to roll to one side in fetal position and gather your energy, feel free. Namaste, my friends. Go with love, light, and delight. Thank you for sharing your yoga with me today. Namaste.